You've reached the insane shift. I'm sorry, but I'm out to lunch. And can't take your call right now. Honestly, I've been out to lunch for probably 25 or 30 years now, so don't expect me back anytime soon. Leave a name and number. And if you ain't a bill collector, I might call you back. Have a good day. Hello, this is Chang, an American Y cleaner. You left Chef Check It with me 18 months ago and never returned for Chef Check It. Would you please come pick up Chef Check It? Call me. Now, now, today. All right, folks. We are uh, gonna make some kind of crazy concoction with some pork chops tonight. Some type of like bastardized uh, apple Normandy style. Uh, and I noticed here yeah, I got this package of Uncle Ben's, and it's been erased from history. This here is the new nephew Ben's original, long grain wild rice fast cook. What's up, nephew? All right, with the family guy playing in the background, uh, just bear with me here. Got some pork chops. These are thin breakfast style chops to bone in. And uh, I got five chops here for like three and a half, 3.30 I think, 3.36 or something like that. Not a bad deal. The price of meat these days. So, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear these off a little bit of uh, canola oil here. And then we're gonna make a sauce to go over them and put them over our Ben's rice. So what I seasoned them chops with here is some Dollar Tree garlic pepper seasoning. If you hadn't tried it, of course it's a dollar, but it won't be for much longer. But uh, it's actually pretty tasty, and I think it's just uh, like MSG and salt and pepper. Let's see what it say here. Let's see what it says. All right, so here in the back it says salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, sugar. Tricalcium phosphate as a anti-caking agent. So I guess it doesn't have any MSG. Hmm. Well, I just say here distributed by Green Bay International Inc. Chesapeake, Virginia. But if this stuff ain't made in China, I don't know what it is. All right, we got them pork chops seared off. Let's make the sauce. So, typically if you're making this sauce the real way, you'd use apples and onions like we got here. But, we don't have all the ingredients we need. Usually you have some cream, you use the pan drippings, which I had to cook all the pork chops and the pan drippings got a little dark. And you deglaze the pan with some white wine, which you don't have, and we don't have any cream, so we're gonna do some different stuff. So here we go, first things first, Apples and the onions go in, we saute them up. Yeah, that smells good. Them onions and them apples smell delicious. Alright, so we got a nice little caramelization on there. And what we're using here is some coconut milk. And that's going to reduce down to be a sauce there. Now, I need a little bit of acidity, and I usually would have some white wine, but I don't have any right now. So, I'm going to put a few drops here of rice wine vinegar as the acidity part. Just to help balance the flavor out. That way it don't taste too sweet and all. The tartness. So, to intensify the flavor just a little bit more, I'm going to add a spoonful of applesauce in there. Kind of frozen, kind of freezing. Yeah. So I need to season this up a little bit, so I'm gonna use that exact same seasoning. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there for a little salty and pepperness, as we use for the actual pork chop itself. Smell indeed delicious. You get that little hint of the acid, definitely vinegar. 
Like, we didn't put much. It's enough to give it a little balance. Otherwise, it'd be like a sweet sauce, and you don't really want super sweet on it. Pork chop. Now we're gonna let this reduce down for a little bit, get a little thicker, and then we'll be ready to uh, put over pork chop meat. I might hit it with a little bit of corn starch. We'll see how it tastes in a minute. All right, so I just tasted that. It tastes absolutely delicious, and uh, I kind of like doing that when you're out of stuff and you're still trying to make something work. You gotta use your brain and try to figure out how you can still make something taste similar to what you're looking for without all the ingredients you need. And it's good to know those kind of things because, especially right now, you go to the grocery store and they don't have half the shit you need. It's always good to have some backup alternative plans so you can still make your dinner. All right, folks, we are ready here to add, I'm gonna add a little cornstarch, cornstarch and water. And uh, you gotta whisk that when you do it to get lumps, but uh, I'm gonna thicken that sauce up a little bit, we're ready to eat. There we go, we got that nice and thickened up. It's gonna be beautiful over our pork chop. Let's dish it up. There you go, folks. That ain't the prettiest plate because it's all brown. But you can put some green onion up on top, or you know, some little red bell pepper or something. Let me give it some color. But that's a beautiful little fall style dish right there. And get you in the mood for some cooler weather. Ooh, there we go, folks. Look at there, look at there. That's gonna be tasty and delicious. Mm-mm-mm. That is so good, folks. You need to try this at home. Very simple to make. Well, that was good AF, folks. Thanks for joining me. I hope you make this your house, and we will see you guys next time.